Are you sick of having a death pile? The first 50 people to call this 1-800 number right now for only $19.95 will become death pile free. Well, I wonder how many people said, screw that, I'm not paying, and clicked off the video. Hold on. Oh well, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my video, I'm Steve. So I see a lot of people on their videos and in comments always complaining about their death piles. Yet they keep adding to them and never get through them. I don't have a death pile and I never do. Now I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna simply tell you what I do. So if you wanna take a bits and pieces of it and try to implement it into your process and your routine to help you out, then I'm glad I can help. Now I know everybody's process is different, especially due to the fact that some people are full-time resellers, some are part-time, some do it on the weekends, at nights, mornings, so it's hard to follow along with someone else does. But like I said, if you could take bits and pieces of it and turn it into your process, then you know it might be better for you. Now I want to try to keep this short so you can follow along. What I like to do is when I get home, I photograph, document, and put away what I sourced that day. And when I say document, I just on a piece of paper, you know, I put down the name brand, what it is, measurements, details, sizes, etc., color. So I have that information on a piece of paper. And then I take all the photographs, I pull my items away, no pile. Now, whenever I want to list them, whether it's later that day, the next day, in a week from now, all I do is refer to that paper and I take all my pictures from my phone and I dump them into Picasa, which is a photo program, and they're just in the file. So I can go into that photo file and all the pictures are there and I can just start at the top of the list. What do I want to list next? First bunch of pictures is, you know, a baseball bat. So I take that bat, I look on my list. I have all my details. I can list that item and I can delete those photos and then mark it on the sheet as listed. And then I could go on to the next one. So once everything is home, photo, document, put away before you go sourcing again. Now, even if you don't get through all your items, if you get through most of them, but then complete them the next day, like say in the morning, before you go out again and just repeat that process you'll never have a pile accumulate. So let's say Monday, you go out and you buy 10 things and you come home, photograph, document them and put them away. Well, now you have no pile, you can list and then the next day you can repeat the process. But let's say you only get through five of them. And you photo document and put away five. Now you have five things sitting in a small pile. The next day, if you go out sourcing again, bring home 10 items and the same thing happens, now you got 10 things sitting in that pile. And then by the end of the week, if you went every day and it happened, you're gonna have a 50 item pile. And then you're gonna need a full long day to get through it all. Now the way I go, I will get everything, at least, you know, unless it's a few items, done and put away before I go sourcing again the next day or the day after, whatever be the case. Like yesterday, I didn't go out sourcing because I had a pile of about 15 things and I photographed and documented most of them. I just had a couple left over that I did today. Now you don't have to list them all at once because ideally, if you get 10 items on Monday, 10 items on Wednesday, 10 items on Friday, if you listed them all that same day or the next day, you're gonna have days in the week where you're not doing any listing. And you know how they say it's good to list every day, so spread it out. As long as it's photo documented, put away, now you have a list of unlisted items. And every day, you know, you could do a few in the morning, a few at night, whatever you be the case for your schedule. And then it gives you things to list every day. But that pile will not accumulate. So my process goes like this. Morning time, check your emails, do all that stuff. Pack and ship any sales that have come up between like late afternoon the day before up until in the morning. Head out, either thrift, and then post office or post office, then thrift, get home, photo, document, put away, and then list a couple. The next day, repeat. Wake up, pack and ship sales, hit the stores, come home, photo, document, put away, list. 
and around and around it goes. And if you can be disciplined enough to follow that, you'll never have a pile. Now, I don't care if you get 100 things or 10 things. You know, unfortunately, if you get 100 things, well, then you really shouldn't go out sourcing again until you get that pile under control. Because even if you go out and get 20 more things, your pile is there and then you're stuck. The discipline all falls on not going sourcing until you have your stuff away. And that's it. Personally, I cannot function with a pile. I don't know if it's my, something in my psyche that I just, I can't function like that. So I've never created a pile more than a few items and with it, that don't last more than a day or two. As long as you can follow that process. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not perfect. I'm just telling you how I do it. But for me, it works. So if you want to implement some of it, try it out. Because I know a lot of people have those death piles. I see it. Everybody's complaining, but those piles are still there. Because they sort, you got that urge, you want to go out there, source, source, source. What am I missing? What's out there? What can I find today? And if you get home and you're like, ah, and you throw stuff down, your pile begins and it's hard to get out of. So thanks for watching, guys. I know this is very simple. Maybe some of you are saying, yes, yeah, Steve, okay, we get it. But maybe there's new sellers out there that are trying to figure out a way to avoid those piles that they're seeing on, other, on YouTube channels. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but nobody seems to like them. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you like this. Share, subscribe, comment. I try to answer back to everybody if you have any questions. And I'll see you later.